Hello ladies and gentlemen, Mike here from Like Designs bringing you another input to my solar system tutorial where I'll be showing you guys how to create every single planet um, and I'm beginning with the inner terrestrial planets and I already made Mars and now we're going on to Earth this is what it will look like at the very end I was thinking about adding the little, the bluish atmosphere but I, I thought screw it you don't really need it to make this Earth look realistic although if you do want um, the Earth to look at full um, realism then just you know go look um look up on Google or YouTube I don't think YouTube has any tutorials on it on how to add an atmosphere to um, to Earth it's very simple um, but I'm not gonna be adding it onto this tutorial um, I'm also going to be showing you guys how to make the moon and um, the distance away from Earth the moon is. Um, so yeah, so this is what Earth will look like, the Earth will look like. As you can see, it's got the clouds. Um, the, I added a little bump map on the cloud to make it look very realistic. Um, the ground also has a um, bump map. I don't know if you can tell here, but um, <coughs> everything has bump map, the, the clouds, the Earth. The actual ground, everything. Um, the the actual oceans have a little specular uh, light to it. Um, yeah, and also the clouds could also have luminosity, making making them look a bit more realistic. As you can see here, a bit more luminosity, like um, like the sun would be um, shining off of them. It looks pretty nice. Um, so yeah, uh, ready to start. Let me delete all of this. Delete the spheres. First thing you want to do is check out this website right here. Um, this is where I get all my textures and stuff. What you want to do, I'll have the link in the description. What you want to do once you get here is either click right here, planet textures, or go to planets. I'll just click right here. And it has every single um, planet in our solar system. It has the sun, which is not a planet, it's a star. It has Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune, and Pluto, which is not a planet anymore. Um, so yeah, whichever one you choose to do, right now we're doing Earth, so you go come right here and just, uh, right here it says buy now, but that's just, I think it might be just to buy the whole project in general. <clears throat> so yeah, once you get here, just, you know, download the color map, download the bump, the bump map, specular map, city lights map, and I'm probably going to have a different uh, link to the clouds, um, because I, I have, um, a better cloud map that I want to, I want you guys to use. And um, here's the moon, so just download the stuff for the moon also. And um, I just normally use the one on here. Let me just go ahead and download this one because uh, the one I use is not so good. Unknown time remaining, hold on. Alright. Download both of them. Don't know why. Okay. All right. So once you download all of those, um, let me see which one was the actual big file. Okay, it's not this one. Okay. So once you got those downloaded, what you want to do is go ahead and create a sphere. Raise the sphere up. Once you do that, um, go ahead and insert your Earth map. Um, what? What you want to do on here is uh, label this stuff. That way you won't get lost in all the all the materials. Label it. First thing you want to do is remove the specular. Once you get into the material editor, first thing is remove specular. Uh, you really don't need it. It looks kind of weird. So we're done with that. Now add this onto the sphere. What I see a lot, guys, is um, a person usually gets the tendency of uh, making the size of the Earth bigger once they get on Cinema 4D. There's really no point, I promise you, um, whether it's big or not, you can make it that small. All you have to do is just zoom into it and then it'll be like just normal if you, if you get what I'm trying to say. Looks kind of weird right there, but once you render it out, it looks normal as you can see. <coughs> So yeah, with that said, <clears throat> next thing you want to do is add in the uh, city lights and the bump map because it's it's the um, the only things that you can actually the only thing sorry I'm kind of stuttering now 
Uh, the only things that you can actually do within the um, Earth Material Editor, this is Earth, so that's what I'm calling it. So in order to get the um, the city lights on here, you want to enable luminance, go to texture, load image, and load the city lights uh, that you downloaded. I have a different one, but it'll, it'll basically be the same. Yes, and then once you do that, then if you render this out, uh, this only works fine whenever you have a dark scene or something like, for example, how the earth, uh, uh, one side is always dark, obviously night time, so um, yeah. For example, um, I don't add this just for the sake of the tutorial, better viewing. Let's say the sun was over there, we look over here, hold on one second, okay. Look over here and then you'll see that the, that there's actual earth lights and it looks pretty nice, nice detailed. I'm going to delete the light just for the sake of the tutorial. Next thing you want to do is add a bump map onto the earth. So you want to select bump, go to texture, load image once again, and load up the earth elevation bump map file. Once you do that, click yes and raise the strength all the way up to 100. And then now the earth has bump map. Now you can play around with this a lot. Um, whichever kind of bump you like. Uh, this one looks very nice, um, as you can see there's a, a certain bump effect to it, which is realistic obviously, earth is not flat. Uh, you can mess around with this, basically I normally use MIP for earth, um, square looks nice, just use MIP, alias 3 looks nice also. Alright, so once you do that is now you you're gonna want to add the clouds um, yeah so um, what you do now is load up another sphere copy and paste control C V is a shortcut once you do that um, actually don't load up the um, the clouds that way you actually no actually no 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 sorry 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 yeah load up the clouds that way I don't know what I'm talking about just drag them into uh, Cinema 4D and then drag them into Sphere 1 if you render this out right now um, it'll look like this which you can't really see the earth right now so yeah first thing you want to do is fix that also remove specular big big deal remove Speculate. So what you do now, you normally what I do, I don't I don't know if anybody else does it differently, but I just go to fog and then raise uh, lower the brightness all the way down to zero percent. And now as you can see the earth is visible and the clouds are clearly and nicely visible also. Yeah. There you go. Um, you're gonna wanna make the cloud uh, sphere a little uh, bigger than the earth sphere um, just for the sake if you ever get um, if you have a sun and then like it looks like one side is like completely black and the other one is not and then the cloud side it's like it, it it'll just look weird promise I promise you'll notice uh, the what I'm trying to say I don't know why it does this whenever I use Camtasia um, it'll look different so yeah just make it bigger and it'll fix that um, here you go this is what um, it'll look like when it's like normal so um, yeah next thing you want to do is add a luminance to your sky and uh, go into texture load image and load the earth clouds image and this then lower the luminance down to at least 72 around 72 and then if you render this again it looks all luminant and it looks very nice it looks very nice actually um, next thing you want to do is create another sphere, and this sphere will be the moon. Like I said, I'm not going to create the atmosphere of the earth. It's very simple, just go look for some tutorials. The moon is about that big compared to the earth. It's about the size of Venus. Not Venus, sorry. Hell no. Venus is about the size of earth. Um, the moon is about the size of uh, Mercury, sorry. And it's about that far away. It's very far away from the earth. Um, yeah there you go okay so first thing you want to do is um, 
go to your materials, um, your wherever you, you saved your your moon map at, and then transfer it into Cinema 4D. Put it on the circle, and like I said, each and every single time you open, you get this. Remove specular. Trust me, it doesn't look good. And here's what the moon will look like. And what you do now is you load up the bump map, which you guys know how to do that. Go to bump, check it, texture. I saved mine at the desktop. I will put it there soon enough. And then look for moon bump. Open it. Yes. 100%. And now it'll look like this on Cinema 40. Really ugly, but it looks nice whenever you actually render it out. So yeah, oh, let me see something. Okay, so that's the moon. The moon is, it might look, um, I just not thought about it. It might look um, bright, really bright, but um, that's actually pretty realistic. Although only one side will be lit up, but like I said, I don't have a source of light right now. Um, only one side of the moon would obviously, and of the earth, would obviously be lit up. But since I don't have a um, light source, it really doesn't matter. Whenever you guys add a light source, you'll see what I'm talking about. Okay, so. Yeah, so that was the moon and the earth. little famous image I'm trying to recreate right now I don't know if you guys remember this little image where um, the Apollo astronauts took a picture of Earth from the moon and this actually looks kind of sloppy but it's because it's a, a low resolution picture from the moon but um, where the Earth actually looked like a fragile little um, sphere just floating around in an endless um, engulfed in like endless space and it's the first time that earth really looked like really fragile from space and uh, usually when you're on earth and you picture earth you're just thinking wow this thing is huge but um nah compared to the actual uh, universe or anything else anything else out there um, we're like one of the smallest little things you could find you can even compare us to anything else in the universe to a small little speck of dust that we are compared to the universe. Um, I'm sorry if, I, if I'm talking kind of weird. Um, if I stutter or anything like that, I'm kind of having trouble speaking right now. I don't know why. But um, yeah, so that was the Earth, and this is the Moon. Looks pretty nice. If you add a light source, it'll look even nicer. For example, there you go. Um, this is a little problem that I come uh, across whenever adding a light source when I have the um, the sky in a luminance state um, it looks like that and everything is lit up which is not realistic at all so um, whenever you have a um, a scene where it's actually lit like 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 this then just remove the um, the luminance. So that's how you make Earth and the Moon. Very simple. Uh, one of the easiest things to make, actually. Um, other than Mercury, because it's like the e the easiest thing to make. Um, so yeah, that was Earth and the Moon. And next, I'll be making Venus, which is extremely simple because you really wouldn't be seeing the terrain. Although I would be showing you guys how to make the terrain. Um, in real life, you only be seeing the clouds. So next up is Venus. Thanks for watching. Please rate and subscribe.